G'day and welcome back, Faintly Saintly here, and today we are looking at a game called Creeper World X, which is the latest installment of the Creeper World series. And if you're not familiar with Creeper World, um, where have you been? They're really good strategy games. Typically they take the form of a basically top-down sort of RTS style game where a, how would you call it, it's like a fluid simulation of creep takes over the planet and you basically have to defend it and prevent it from spreading. This one is a little bit different. I think more reminiscent of one of the early Creep World games where your perspective is actually from the side. And it also introduces a whole new uh, slew of features which probably weren't standard in the last few Creep World games. So this is our viewpoint here. Um, and this is my first time playing, by the way. But uh, my understanding is these little blue fellas here are emitters that we need to destroy because they will produce creep that will just fill up the level there are other resources buried in the dirt i believe this might be air. oh that's water sand here we go kirkium which is like a power source and these are cores which i think we also have to destroy as well up here on the surface i believe we have these generators reactors sorry which are hanging off this tree structure which generate power for us and all our units take the form of ships like this. We'll go ahead and place our Apex ship. I think that's what it's called, yes. And we will start the game. So the Apex ship spawns in and immediately starts harvesting all this energy. We can build other ships, nullifiers, defenders, diggers, and gunships down here, which will take power to maintain and fire. And as you can see here, oh look over here, we have some surface level creep coming in like a big tidal wave. And as you can see when you move the ships they actually deconstruct into pixel like uh, particles I guess and then reform the ship in the target location. So something to be mindful of. I'm going to want to build a defender, I'm going to be facing that way, just as a bit more firepower that'll contain whatever is going on over here so the objective is to clear the creep off each stage and unlike the previous games which were the bird's eye perspective I believe the creep in this one has a, a half-life it won't permanently just grow and grow and grow it'll reach a stage and then die off so each emitter has a Basically a finite range is my understanding. Um, can I select more than one unit? Yes. Can I move them all? No. Kind of. Okay. So we want to try and clear this out. Somehow. I can... Dig through this terrain. Terraform. Oh, okay, I can't dig through that specific material. I wonder if there's any physics based. No, it won't sink. So, how do I deal with that, I wonder? Alright, let's get you over here. Start clearing up some of this. We'll get you up there. That's a bit close for comfort. So, the creeper will obviously damage and destroy your ships if it makes contact, so you have to be mindful of that. Maybe I can build a gunship as well. Might just improve the firepower a little bit. We've got energy feeding in through these reactors into the Apex ship, and they will feed ammo and energy to our little ships here. a bit out of range but we've nearly got it actually I, I didn't know if there was an emitter up here or where all this came from that looks to be successful so how do I get more energy here I can build more reactors there we go <coughs> all right we're all clear top side it's time to move on I might start over this side so the ships back there
and uh, move them into range. I might try and breach through here and then move this way. I'm interested to see how the water interacts with the creep as well. Oh, we do have something down here. What is this? I'll have to go digging and find out what that is. All right, so the ship here is extracting the energy from the dirt there, which is fine, but we want to dig a little entryway. Well, a big entryway, I suppose, so we can get our ships firing into it. And the gunship is already taking some shots in there. I believe these ones target not just the top surface, but they'll target a dense layer of the creep. So good for softening it up, but maybe not as good for perimeter defense. Although they do have a normal little cannon as well. It's got a bit closer. So power production is good. Energy production and oh, that's the stored energy from this. Gotcha. Maybe another gunship wouldn't go astray. What's this one? A digger. I think we need another digger or a digger. Goes down a bit closer. Oh, you can't get any closer. You might you might not fit. That's okay. It should be closer. We'll just clear up the stuff on the outside. Hopefully eradicate that so that's one side taken care of. We'll get a little focus on this side. So I've put my gunships here. They'll keep this contained while well, these guys can mop up what's happening over here. Might even build another couple of ships. Hopefully the energy can sustain them. See the energy from these reactors is getting fed to the ship and this is passing that on to our little ships here to, as, as ammo basically. So if they get cut off by creep or by solid walls they'll get actually cut off from their energy supply and they'll run out of ammo and be basically defenseless and useless. Oh, I can clear that. Why did I think I couldn't do that? I'm not sure. Alright move him down. Get these three a bit closer. So I'm really excited to play this. The demo's only just come out, I think, in the last couple of weeks um, because I'm a, a big fan of the series and I played the hell out of uh, Creeper World 3 and 4, which took it in a more 3D direction. But they're just such uh, addictive, satisfying games. All right, we're going to open up this channel a little bit, I think. Yeah, it's all going good. Plenty of energy still. All right. I think we are safe out here, so we need to move into this area. And get a bit closer to that. I'm going to build another fire. I'm going to build it there. And I think you need these to actually destroy the emitters to stop all this creep from being generated. Things edging a bit closer. Might widen that a little bit. What's the range on this thing? I think it should be safe. There we go, it's charging up. It's going to take out this emitter, this creeper maker. Oh, is it struggling to get through the creep? So I really need to suppress it with fire. a little bit closer. We should be able to put the pressure on. Rather not get you too close. Why don't you move there? Odd. Alright, we're 
we're just a bit out of range now. We'll get a bit closer. And we should be right now. Boom. What does that leave behind? Embers. Looks like they fizzle out over time. It might potentially be harmful in the future if we get too close to an exploding emitter, so I'll keep that in mind. Looks like we want to just tunnel our way through here. Maybe I should invest in a digger just to see what it does for me. And I will uh, get a couple more emitters up here. My reactor, sorry. There we go. What's happening here? Okay, so. We are dealing with this core because we can access it now. So what's actually happening? I might move that digger away just in case it explodes. What are you doing to that? Do I need to nullify it or will it just... Oh, I think I need to actually access all of them at once for that to take effect. Alright, let's get this digger happening and we'll... Try and... Oh, can I get through this? What is this? Lava. Hmm. I wonder if... Uh... That will interact. There's some cool little uh, liquid physics simulation going on here. Some good interactions. The water's slowly cooling off the lava and solidifying it. There's a bit of steam coming off that as well, which is nice. If I open that up, that steam will just freely rise. Very close there. Alright, we'll let that do its thing for a little bit, but we need to deal with this now, so I wonder if it's wiser to come in from the top. I'll pop you there. I'll just dig out a big chunk of this. Really open that up. But I can't dig through this solid rock, unfortunately. Get our ships ready. Open that up a bit more, just let that water through. Hopefully, soon I can just dig straight in. Hmm. This stuff is still... It's not solid, it's still basically fluid, so... This water needs to do some more work over here just to really seal off that lava. Hopefully there's enough water there to, to get by. Alright, we'll move a bit closer. We'll get our ships ready. What we're going to be doing is uh, basically breaching this cover and exposing ourselves to a bit of a uh, creeper here, so there might be a little bit of danger. But hopefully all this firepower can contain it. Alright, immediately the gunships start firing in and they're attacking the dense stuff a bit deeper below the surface just to keep, just to suppress it basically. And that seems to be doing an okay job. What's happening here? You can keep digging down. I'm going to open this right up and hopefully access whatever that is. But can this go through water? It can. Lovely. Maybe I should uh, make sure there's enough water there. I think we should be okay. I'm just waiting for if this collapses in it might uh, open up the lava and be a bit of a hazard, but we should be alright. Let you do your thing. Now we're looking up here. Are we can afford to open this up a bit more now. I want to completely take this ball down. We'll leave a bit of a buffer, hopefully. And then we can start moving our ships in. Get a bit more pressure. not in danger there. I think we should be okay. Recovering the survival pod is a rare feat indeed. Oh, that's this thing down here. Lovely. So as soon as we expose that, we can reclaim it, basically, which is nice. That digger up here. What 
wonder if it's worth opening a little channel here just to drain some of this down. You do this for me. Oh, I need to increase the size of this brush. Oh, wow. See if this makes any difference at all. Might just take a bit of the pressure off up here, hopefully. We'll uh, pop that open as well. just in case. I think we should be okay. I'm not quite sure this really benefited anything, but... No, actually, no, it seems to be doing something. Alright, we'll build a little nullifier there. of this little generator and then that should free us up to move through this way I suppose I could dig straight through the ceiling couldn't I what am I thinking I really could have just bypassed all of that couldn't I in hindsight <laughs> Look, go easy on me it's my first time uh, playing it from this perspective usually I'm used to the bird's eye view of the previous games mid is destroyed oh maybe actually I need to take out all the admit emitters as well anyway, so maybe that's not quite as simple. Anyway, I'm going to dig through here, avoid releasing this creep. I'll open that up as well. So in theory, as soon as this is exposed, this ship should be able to uh, interact with it and activate it. And hopefully, here we go, hopefully it's as easy as that. this creep down here suppressed. Oh, there we go. Done. Mission one completed. Okay. So again, this is just the alpha demo, so it looks like there's just a few included missions. And obviously, things are subject to change. Uh, what have we got here? Robots. Little bots. Emitters. What is that? Info cache. Got more cores. We've got whatever that is. Upgrades. Gotcha. Plenty of energy up here. Got uh, a Tom sentry gun. Okay. The core buried there. Right. Plenty happening. Plenty happening. I'm going to... Oh, we've got some new ships as well. Unstable when I cry on. I'm reading the uh, description of the land. It was called Unstable Land. Um, cry on, we've got a maker. Breeder liquid. What is this? This little fella. AC ore emitter. Oh, that's anti creep. Okay. All right, let's just get in. Put the main ship there because that will be close enough to start harvesting some of this energy. And we'll build. Just a basic little fleet. There's some energy generation happening as well. Doesn't look like it's going to be uh, much to sustain us, actually, but... What is this? Angorium. Not sure what that will do for me. Um, okay, just going to dig in here just a little bit. Get close enough just to harvest this last little bit of energy here. So there's some creep and an emitter in this little tree structure. It is slowly moving, so I can't tell if that's growing or if it's just sort of vibing. We'll see. But these bots concern me because I reckon they might fight back. Alright, I've got a bit more energy happening now. 
for these uh, reactors, the longer they are out, the more energy production they provide, apparently. It doesn't look like we can actually see that. Build supply, ammo supply, pixels. Okay. Interesting. All right, that creek is leaking, so we need to get on that pretty quickly. Before that becomes a problem. Eating into the uh, this uh, sandy looking textured material. So that's why that was moving. It was actually the creeper eating its way through, which is concerning. I might actually have to move my ships up because I think that uh, wave of creep is going to start rising. Hopefully, it doesn't put my reactors in danger. Oh, it's going to put this little thing in danger. It's going to creep through there as well. Oh, that's not good. That is not good. We need more firepower. A little digger as well. We can hopefully access uh, this stuff over here, this anti-creep. That might help. I think it's too late for this poor thing. I've <laughs> inadvertently doomed him and he was just here to help. trouble it's going to spread through here it's going to hit the uh, creeper breeder liquid which sounds horrifying wonder if we can put a stop to that oh no oh no this is bad look at it go uh, I think I think we might want to restart this mission <laughs> rethink the strategy just a little bit. Right. Um. Hmm. Let me get some stuff pre placed. And we'll just see how bad an idea that is once we get started. May have slightly overloaded the economy for a moment there, but hopefully it's not cause any lasting issues. Maybe a little bit further, get that guy in there. You can have to reach more of that energy now. But, oh, you're not even completed yet. Okay. Alright. Reactors are online now. Ships are online. Yes, yeah, so that's actually slowly degrading. Definitely need to access this anti-creep. I might take you over there. We'll dig a little hole. And build a maker. How are we going to control this? Just build a little bit of a, a wall and hopefully hold that back with some firepower. Okay, and we got access in here as well. I might actually grab that. Oh, here we go. It's already leaking. Nullify would be good as well, once we can get through to it. Look, what's happening here? We've got an upgrade. I can use that on fire rate, fire range, energy, or move. Let's get uh, fire rate. What are you doing? Do I need to nullify that or? Oh, it's a miner. Okay, we'll get that. Looks like we're doomed over here as well already. Wonder if I can dig through that and uh, get that nullifier in range.
Okay, here we go. This is getting fed with anti creep. And how do I make you fire? Will we do it automatically? There we go. Okay, nullifier is up. Oh, about to get it uh, creeped on. Uh oh. Terrifying. <laughs> get out of there, get out of there. Interesting, but if that's going down, this might have a chance. If we can sneak that in, that'll be huge. Ideally, we save this. <laughs> uh, the generation is defeated. We just need to hold off this last wave, which is getting uncomfortably close. Oh, don't let it in there, don't let it in there. Hoping that creep won't corrupt this anti creep stuff here. Oh boy. Not looking positive. Poor little anti creep generator I might be uh, suffering a little bit. But hopefully, with this anti creep, we can reclaim it. it looks like it's still harvesting the anti creep stuff for me, so that's a good sign. Might be okay. Unfortunately, this is breached in this way this time. Ah, it's gone in through, so it just follows that trail. And I'm guessing that big explosion, that big wave, was when it reached this breed of liquid. what's causing this sort of eruption. Now that the waves died down though, I want to get these guys a bit closer. Just to keep it under control. And get these guys a bit closer as well. Okay, we've got a breach here, that little tower is gone. Hopefully we can contain that. I'm going to get this little anti-creeper maker over here. And hopefully that'll help quell that wave. this for another upgrade. A bit concerning.
Alright, that's going to come and click this upgrade for me, so we have another boost. What do we need? Fire rate, fire range, energy, or move. Uh, honestly, I think fire rate's probably good. I'm going to get another upgrade here anyway. I'll go for this one as well, may as well. Digger in here to help. These uh, prions in, they seem to freeze the creep, slow it down, let other things destroy it. That'll definitely help to just suppress that little spout. I love that these guys have little guided missiles that can uh, navigate their way through into the creep. That's pretty cool. I'll leave you there, but I definitely want to focus on this side. We'll get that down. Ship's doing good work. There we go. This is now free from the creep. We've captured it, but we need to keep it that way right until the end. And we also have all this to worry about as well. Let's do most of the damage. We've got one, two, um, start picking out units that we can spare and move them away. So it might leave a few just to maintain this little uh, hold we've got here. I wonder if we can get away with just one gunship. I've got some upgrades, so maybe I'll increase range and fire rate again. That'll hopefully keep all of this under control. And then we can focus on this train wreck up here. Spread my units out a bit. But I think the important thing to have up here will be these two. Because they're going to spit out this anti-creep and really suppress this. Just in case I'm going to move things away from that wall. We travel on. I think we're okay. We'll need that digger anyway. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? Just to be safe. Dig a bit of a... Bit of a pit there. And that way if this does erupt out... It's just a bit of a buffer. Here we go. We're okay. I'll open that up a bit and then see if this guy can be a bit more effective. There we go. Do the same on this side. Who's digging here? Oh, the cryo ones. They can dig as well. Good to know. All right. You're actually not doing anything, so I'll probably pinch you back. Anything else to find in this map? There is a little pool of water there. Oh, that's creep, that's water. And there is of course this, what is it, an info cache, so I need to try and capture that. Alright, I think we are ready. Just trying my best to build a bit of a buffer. Alright, everybody 
in range. Get you just up out of the way. Oh, I can't dig up through there anyway because that is solid stone. Okay, change of plan. Everybody's got to be on this side. How does that look? I'm just going to dig a little, little entry. Just to keep it nice and contained. Slowly expand it. When it's safe, I'll just keep moving down. Not too fast. Okay, can I squeeze that in there safely? Start spinning out some uh, anti creeper in here. And that'll really uh, put a stop to it, hopefully. set up there so the anti creep really just helps to suppress the creeper and everyone else can just shoot the crap out of it just to keep it keep it down these guys are still holding on okay energy's still good only concern is we are running out of anti creep a little bit so i wonder if i can build another mine no i can build one mine okay should build one more reactor so i might as well just do that open this up a little bit. There is of course this one over here we need to worry about as well. But we'll get to that shortly. Let's keep this widening, let our little dude do some digging. Get these guys nice and close just so they don't stop firing. Just edge forward, bit by bit. This digger. I'm gonna bring him down. What's his range? His range is pretty good, so I can actually just widen this chamber. Some of that creep to empty out down there. This guy's down a bit closer. There we go. We've got a few things we need to nullify here. To nullify the core, we need to nullify the emitter. <laughs> okay, 
Okay, oh, I got that info cache, that's right. Uh, oh no, I don't need to nullify that, do I? That just needs to be free of creep. My mistake. Get these guys in. Let's open that up for ourselves, give ourselves a bit more room. There we go. Satisfying game just to sit back and watch sometimes as well, just to watch the, uh, the power struggle, the creep trying to blow out, and the anti creep and the bullets just coming in and just suppressing it. Very satisfying to watch, but also terrifying when you get it wrong and the creep overtakes you. Let me have the nullifier a bit closer into range. Then as soon as this little emitter is out of the creek, it'll be a prime target and he should be uh, dealt with. Beautiful. Dealt with. And what's the story here? Why isn't this stuff going away? That's the next question. Let's open that up and have a closer little look there. I think it might be because of this breeder liquid, which might just be continually expanding that creep. Once we clear out this top tunnel, we can have a closer look as well. Let's make our way in. Make that nice and open. A bit closer. So there's got to be something to do with this water and this lava. There must be... Maybe there's something hidden in the water or the lava. Let's just start digging, see what happens. happening? Oh, that's out of range. Okay, we need to get that a bit closer then. And get this brush a little bit smaller. I'm just going to dig a little channel in here. Hopefully that creep won't grow and fill that space. Of course it does. Let's give it some more room down here just to sink into, keep it away from the roof, in theory. Or am I just giving it more room to grow? <laughs> that might be the case as well. I think it might be. Let's prepare just to take this take this out, I think. Actually, this is setting myself up for disaster here, isn't it? If that goes wrong, but erupts out of there, all my units will uh, be in immediate danger. That might make that path a little bit shorter so these these little collection pixels can reach that a bit easier. Alright, are we ready? Everybody's here in range. Let's just 
crack the top there and see what happens. of Andy Craig doing some uh, good work for us. These gunships are doing heavy lifting. Let's open this up a bit more. There we go. Should hopefully have this in the bag. Although we're running a bit low on Andy Craig now, so hopefully the uh, firepower can sustain. happening here? The rock is just raining. <laughs> okay, it looks like the creeper has been removed from the breeder liquid. So there's no more risk there. So this is what we have to deal with now. This digger over here. I think we'll dig a little path like this. I dig a channel straight out. Well, that's a good idea. What is this bedrock? Ah, oh, no, okay. I thought that might have been the void I could just drain this out into, but maybe not. I'll dig a nice little channel for that creeper to spill into. What's all this happening? Sand. Keep that under control. Okay, get these guys over here to help out. And prepare for the final little uh, mission here, just to get this last core. some shortcuts out for all these resources to get to me a bit quicker. I don't think it really matters. Alright, I'm going to get the anti-creep up front, and I'm going to actually dig out a little more of a platform here. Get these guys in range, ready to defend. Just a smaller little brush. Get a little opening. And hopefully that will... Uh, there's nothing in there that's actually growing the creep, is there? There's just a pool of creep. So hopefully that'll just take care of itself pretty quickly. Might be wishful thinking. Open up this angle a bit more. Get these guys in a bit closer if I can. little bits and pieces of floating dirt that are left behind. Okay, I think this is working. You can actually dig through there now, and that's a safe path into the core. Once we capture that, we are done. Not sure if there's anything 
interest here, but probably not. And we're done. Mission complete. And that was mission two of the demo. And I think I'm going to wrap it up there. There is a third mission I didn't get to, but I might leave that one as a bit of a surprise for you. If you are interested in checking out the game, you can go download the demo right now and check that out for yourself. I'll leave a link to the store page on Steam in the description. You can check out the demo and wishlist the game. Again, this is just an alpha demo. The full game is slated to release sometime this year. There's no set date, but uh, definitely keep an eye on it because it is very fun and very satisfying. And uh, these Creeper World games are always good, so definitely recommend them. Uh, on that note, I'll uh, leave it there. So thank you for watching. If you like this and want to see more like it, please consider subscribing. It helps me out a lot and keeps you in the loop when new videos drop. And I like to cover all sorts of uh, new and upcoming indie games. So if you have any game suggestions for me, let me know in the comments and I'll do our best to get back to you. So thanks again, and I'll see you next time.